it's Amy with Do Dog Photography. I am so excited about this collaboration with Greater Than Gatsby for the Newborn Collection 2. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my marquee or my lasso tool. In this case, I'll use the marquee tool and I'll just select that area where some of the flocati is not covering the background. And then I'll go to the blanket patchwork action and it fills it in nicely for you. I'll do one more right up here. There you go. Uh, I want to point out that this is the one action that does not work with all versions. It does work with CS5, CS6, Creative Cloud, and Elements 13 or higher. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to my one-click foundations. Uh, simple and subtle foundation is what I use for most of my indoor newborn work. Um, I love the other ones for the outdoor images or older children or maternity inside. But just play around with them. They, I love it because they give an overall smoothing effect for the entire image. And there's before and after there. Even her eyes get sharpened. I love that. So I'm going to bring that down to about 65. And there you go. The next thing I'm going to do is work on her skin tone. I love this action because a lot of babies that I work with, and most of you probably do too, is that they don't have just one skin issue. Sometimes I get babies that are really red and jaundiced, some purple, some gray. So I love it because you can go to one set and it's all there for you. You don't have to skip around or spend a lot of time hand editing. So I'm going to go to reduce red splotches. I'm going to go to 50%, which is pretty high, but she's pretty red. And just select the red areas, really red areas. A lot of babies are red around the eyes. I don't mind those red cheeks at all. She's so cute. She, she, I had her back in November and she did not want to sleep at all. I think I ended up with a couple of sleepy images, but she was just so content to be wide awake, which if you get those, you're lucky because a lot of times if they're awake, they're crying. And there's that. I love it. I'm going to do a little bit more up here. All righty. Flatten that. Then I get to go to the facial feature enhancers. And same thing as with the tone correctors. I love it because all your options are right in one set. You don't have to go back and forth for eyes or cheeks or lips. Uh, the lash enhancer I use almost every single time. And I'm going to bring that to 30% because her eye, her eyes are open, so you don't really see her, her lashes in this one. So I'm just going to go around the rim. And then I'm going to go to the open eye enhancer. And about 40%, I will brush over the entire eye, trying to avoid the pupil. And then I'll go to the catch light enhancer, which is exactly what it said, what it Titled. Just enhances those catch lights. There we go. Then I get to go to the fun stuff, the organic tones and mattes. I use tummy time, honestly, for almost every single newborn image. I love it because it's airy and hazy and light. It's before and after. I might bring it down just a little bit. And then I'll probably, I'm just guessing, I'll probably use rubber ducky for a warming. Awesome. I'm going to bring that down just a smidge. Or about 50. There we go. Before and after. Um, then I get to go down to my custom hazy vignette. All of these vignettes are cool. You can play with around with them. Uh, I'm going to run that. Select a color in the background. It doesn't. It's going to change the color at first, but you know kind of what your image looks like originally. So I'm going to choose a light or a yellow color. Hit OK. And I love it because it just I, I was brushing I was brushing the edges on almost all my images, so now I don't have to do that because it fills it in nicely for me. Flatten that and then I'm gonna go to map the edges. And I may not keep it for this particular image, uh, but I do love it for most of them. And I like it here. I'm just gonna bring down the opacity quite a bit. 
All right, then I'm gonna go down to Sharpen. I love the diaper bag helpers. There's so many things in there you can play with. Underexposure, overexposure, all these fun things you can play with. And then I'm, so anyways, I'm gonna go to Sharpen for Print, Subtle. I usually use Subtle for my newborns. Inside, if we were doing an outdoor image, I would probably do Strong or any other type of image besides indoor newborns. All right, so there we have that. And there you have it. So I'm gonna do a before and after. Cool. And you might also notice that up here, I have all my actions color code, well, Greater Than Gatsby has color coded them. So I like to have them on the button mode. If I have them, if it's not on the button mode, this is what I'm going to have to look for and then hit play. Some, I know I've talked to some students who I didn't know you can have it on button mode. It just makes my life easier. Hopefully that can help you out if you'd like to do it that way. Um, so now I'm going to show you a couple of the, uh, the two ones I usually use for my newborn work in the black and whites. Potato sack. It's probably my favorite. I'm going to get rid of that. Just find one that works best for your taste, but I love the froggy too. All right, guys. So you can go to greaterthangatsby.com to purchase these actions. And thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.